All right, here we go. Third set, ladies and gentlemen. Third set, Efren Reyes versus uh, Brian Cady. This is part three here at Hard Times Billiards in Southern California in Bellflower, 17450 Bellflower Boulevard. Come on down to Hard Times Billiards, the home of champions where the action always happens. This is an action room, folks. You want action? Come to Hard Times. I want to thank our sponsors, uh, Kamui Tips. Sorry about that, guys. I want to thank Kamui Tips. And that was a Czechio commercial that you were uh, watching briefly there. Gregor Products and uh, Marty Carey's Jump Q. And DripRx. DripRx.com. So here we go. For set number three. Race to three. Brian had some chances in that last set. He really did. When is Dennis playing In February. That's that's March. Who thought of inline that match? That's the guy that takes Dennis now. Yeah. He takes a lot of Okay, so Brian has one. Hold on a second. They're talking about whose hole is whose. Okay, Brian's got one. And now Efren. How many balls is this worth to him? Yeah. Well, it is. Bye, Conrad. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm dead. Robert, Robert, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We met before? Yeah, we had it. Down in what? In Vegas. In Vegas, yeah. <laughs> Actually in San Diego too. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, say hi to Clyde. I will. Okay, thanks. See you, guys. See you later. All right. Yeah. I don't know. We walked them out actually. Okay, we'll see you back. What, what nice people, Mario and Conrad, right? Yeah. Really, really nice people. It was funny when he came up uh, and approached me. You know, he just had this, like, I can't wait to play Efren kind of look on his face, yeah. you know, like. And uh, just all heart, you know what I mean? All heart. He's a, he's a super nice guy. I, like, I've met him um, a few times out at, at OnQ when I've been out there visiting, uh -huh. playing tournaments uh -huh. and things. So he's, he's, um, he's well known out that way and mm -hmm. really, really just a nice guy. With authority, Efren is at work. I think the ball counts a little higher than. Uh, and we've been keeping track of. Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> oops, I'm actually on the wrong player. Duh. Hello. I think he's playing for one. No, nope, he's playing for shape, so he's playing <laughs> for two. We're going to just let them uh, run it out and then yeah, we'll they, let you know who wins. <laughs> this crazy scoreboard. It's doing, it's got a mind of its own. <laughs> Brian is. Brian's heart is starting to sink. They said that John French added you to uh, 
<laughs> added you to his stables. John French added me to his stable. So yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. to Team French. To Team French. <laughs> That's funny. They said welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's definitely gonna want to add me after I play Beato tomorrow. <sighs> <laughs> Are you guys playing tomorrow? Oh, that's right. Geraldine's playing Beyond. Wait, what? I, I got to know what he's giving you because you know I never got down with him. Every time Hold on a second. What? The problem with working. I'll just let you guys call. The, the problem with working with Daniel at POV Pool is when there's like a cool perk like playing Efren, playing Boosty. It's always Daniel. It's always Daniel. If it's his money, my money, same money, shouldn't I get a chance? If you want to play, honey, you should get to play whoever you want. <laughs> now, what's the game? <laughs> well, I figure if Beato's giving Daniel the eight ball and the breaks. Did he say yes to that? I thought he told you no. <clears throat> He's giving me the eight and the bricks playing ten ball. I thought, he, I thought he told you no. Efren's setting up the game. Then you know he leaves tomorrow, right, Carlo? Efren's the manager. Carlo goes home tomorrow. I'm just letting you know. So then Carlo should be able to give me like the six out in the breaks. <laughs> I, I don't want to burst anybody's bubble, but like he could give me the... <laughs> I don't even want to say it on air. It makes me sound so bad. Yeah, but at the same time, Brooke, you know, that means he can give me the six out. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to say that. I'm saying, look, earlier when I said, doesn't he know who you are? I didn't mean it like I thought, like, you. I was thinking, like, he likes you and doesn't want to give you a game where you don't have a chance at. <laughs> I appreciate the psychology. The eight and the breaks is, I mean, you really got to get some rolls, Daniel. <laughs> I know I know the break on this table, all right? I know the break on this table. <laughs> yes, you do. You warmed it up when you and Tang played against yeah. Efren and Bustamante. Yeah. Yeah. It took me five, five <laughs> breaks to get the break and ten. And then it was on dead on. It, it was, was really good. On, right? it, it, towards the In end, fact, it was really worst, good. My worst enemy was Tang Ho then. Oh, snap. <laughs> no, we Ooh, already low about blow, that. Tang Ho. <laughs> we already talked about that. <laughs> Anyway, I'm still taking donations to play Beato no, tomorrow because I actually can't afford to play him. Here he goes with this. He's taking donations to play him. No, I'm taking donations to play him. I, I just want to say that I'd, mu I'd much rather watch, watch Geraldine play Carlo than Daniel. I mean, come on, people. Maybe I'll play Beato one pocket. <laughs> stop it, Geraldine. Stop it. What's some obscure game that I could play Beato? <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, Brian's making a little run for it here. We're missing out on this. Okay, so I've lost track of this rack. What's going? What the heck's going on? Brian's running out on Efren. That's what's going on. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, Jeff. That's Jeff Gray in the chat room says actually she should do a jump shot competition with Beato. <laughs> I don't. I don't have anything. To, I, I think that'd be awesome to watch. That's all I could say to that. I would. I would. I. I would hope you did a pay per view for that particular event. <laughs> Nineteen ninety five for a four hour pass. Jump, jump, jump! All the jumps you can handle. Yeah. I'm gonna. Her her walk on music is gonna be uh, House of Pain. Everybody jump, jump, jump. By the end of four hours, I should at least be able to jump one ball. <laughs> Oh, I can get over balls all the time. I just can't hit the ball on the other can't side. <laughs> I can't even touch it. <laughs> but I can freehand, my hand's not on the table, jump a ball from like the center of the table. <laughs> I just can't hit nothing. How about we bring finger pool back, you know, like Mike Massey's oh finger my pool? Oh gosh, that'd be awesome. Oh my God. I like, like uh, Mike, Mike could spot me the four out playing finger pool. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell you what, I'm two days cold on the pool table. I haven't played, but I'm going to give Beato my... Oh, I'm sorry. Geraldine's playing Beato. No, I, I'm really considering this. <laughs> All right. How many people are in the chat room right now? I say we do a vote. We vote, and if you guys don't vote for Geraldine, just remember she's going to put the camera right on the floor. It's going right. All we're going to see are shoes. So I suggest you vote for Geraldine. She's going to kick everybody out of the chat room. <laughs> she just recycles it. Everybody's gone. Anybody that doesn't vote for her, gone. So what's the vote for? To see if Daniel or Geraldine plays Beato. Tomorrow. <laughs> Fighting over Beato. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Caroms. They said some. you guys should play caroms. That's a tough game. Oh, that caroms game? That's how I actually learned how to play. The, the after park? school curriculum. At the park, had, right? Yeah, they had. Yeah. No, uh, after school. Oh, well, we had, it was. At yeah, Mitchell Torino Elementary. After school, my brother and sister would go to the park. I was too little to play. I couldn't even reach. But they would play caroms at the park. It was, it was the after school, like, keep them out of trouble program, whatever. Yeah. I've been to a few of those. Keep them, <laughs> keep them out of trouble. It didn't work for any of my family, but. And Brian is on the board, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Woo! Give him some class, Brian, people. Katie. <laughs> Let's do a wave in the audience. A wave. <laughs> you didn't wave. Daniel tried to start a no, wave switching, and he did not wave. I was going to switch the camera so that the audience could see the so that we yeah. could see the audience wave. Oh wait, where's the audience? <laughs> it's us. <laughs> it's just like it's just bleachers. All the rail birds are back here. I swear. Wow, and he won on Efren's break. Just an FYI there, because he is now at the table breaking. He, he did win on Efren's break. So here we go. Game two. On a serious note, this is game two of the third set. And let us... All right. Woo! High five, Brian. <laughs> high five. Brian came up and gave us a big old high five. <laughs> That's how I felt when I won my one game against Efren. That's how everyone should feel when they win their one game from <laughs> I played up for 10 games, I won one game. But seriously, folks, uh Okay. So Brian came I'm, to play. He didn't come to mess around. I messaged Carlo. And he says, maybe. I'm leaving tomorrow evening to go back to Manila. So what time do you want this game to go off that I can try and set it up? Uh, I know you said that Efren's going to be the manager, but I'm telling you, he's, he's not going to okay, make any calls tell him, for you. Tell him uh, what time tonight, tomorrow night does he leave, you said? Nine. So he probably so goes there tell about him, six. Tell him two o'clock. Tell him I'm only I'm only good for I'm only good for two barrels. So like I'm t well, there's a barrel here, and then you can have two barrels. But Geraldine's getting some action. Tell tomorrow. her two o'clock. Geraldine's getting action tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm 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 skipping work to make sure Geraldine don't gets you, action. Don't you tomorrow. understand that Geraldine actually she really doesn't want to play. She's just effing with me. Look at it. Oh okay. Look at that face. Oh my god, I wish I could move the camera. <laughs> we'll do a short little I, race for Geraldine. I never. We'll do never like a race get to, to two. Play anybody. We'll do a race to two one pocket or a race to five, ten, nine ball or ten ball, and then you can have him. For how much are we gonna do that one? <laughs> what is the matter? What do you think? Do you think, do you you think Carlo do, wants to be 100? like a pool monkey for uh, I, five I, hours? I, I don't think he's gonna play her for five hours. I think he's gonna play her for thirty five <laughs> minutes. Wait, so Daniel is well aware that I have a very short pool attention span. I said race to two. <laughs> All right, let's make the game happen between Geraldine. Let's say the match starts what at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. So I can tell. I'm going to do two minimum races to 100. A races for 100? Yeah, races for 100. Races to 100. Uh, I'd like to do a race to 8 or 9. What? I'd, I think, what? Race to eight, 
or nine. Or nine, ten ball? Yeah, ten, ten ball. ball. Ten ball with the eight ball and the and brakes. Break. Which one would you prefer, eight or nine? I'd prefer race to nine. You should go shorter when you're the I know you should player. go shorter when you're the weaker player, okay. but I I'm like a longer enough. race. Maybe he might want to play me horse. Oh, uh, yeah, horse. He's a basketball player. He might be in trouble. Or are you talking a horse on a pool table? She's talking horse on a pool table. Either. There's no basketball court for us to stream. <laughs> we can make one. <laughs> in the back of the room. You, you right know, I grew up playing side. basketball. You know what? If you're if you just want to go into competition with Beato, you should just pitch quarters. <laughs> oh yes. I don't think he's ever pitched a quarter. How's that? I have a game that I could win at then. <laughs> this is gonna get entire. This is gonna get like four views on uh, YouTube now. All my good friends in the One Pocket community are, are going to give me uh, I'm losing brownie points with them. So meanwhile, this game's going on. Four, looks like eight, and 12, 13 balls on the table. Brian, what's the ball count? What's the ball count? You have two? Brian's got two balls. Efren now owes two balls. Efren owes two balls? Yeah. Have her play that new retarded casino game, War the Card Game. Hasn't that been around since the the original um, vacation, Vegas vacation, with with Chevy Chase? I have, I have no. You remember, idea. and it was I, that I one stay dealer. Away from casinos generally. It was a one dealer. Yes, it is one to one. Unless there's pool going on there. One to one on the field, not on the ball count, but on the on game. On the game count. count. Yeah. I got I got uh, happy thoughts for Brian in this set. Hey, He's on the board. He won a game. Let's just go from there. <laughs> Did Brooke Dude, tell you the story no, about the salt no. shaker? He's gonna. This is what's gonna inspire Daniel and I to write a book about one pocket. You don't know this. I told her. It's it's strong. Oh, sure, they make you guys a fresh one? Is that what just happened, dear? <laughs> Shit. You want one? No, I'm just playing with you. It was like, mine was like four hours yeah, old. Like, well, you, you're better off just buying a whole pizza, I think. I've done that several times. Than, than doing all, the pieces. No, 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 I'm just saying, like, I already ate the slice. I'm good, but... You gotta work tomorrow? I'm, I really am considering taking the day off because I have to in the next week take the day off to go to the DMV. So I thought, what better day than tomorrow to go down to Bellflower DMV right up the street and then come here. She's probably dead. It, there's not a lot of... The few times I've had to go there, it's been a pretty good one to go to. How's your dad, by the way, Brooke? He's doing well, thank you for asking. He's uh, back playing pool. He went out on on Friday and played a couple hours of One Pocket. And uh, yeah, he's a happy camper now that he can play some One Pocket. They want him out doing more, so it's good. Does he watch our stream? Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. Actually, Ken's been a big supporter of POV Pool over the years. But there's another guy that has a similar name. My dad never goes in the chat, ever. No, I've never seen him. But there's another guy with a similar name that's in the chat sometimes. Oh, you mean Ken Thomason? Yeah. I'm kidding. No, there, it's like Ken Thompson or something. Mm -hmm. It really is. And somebody kept telling me that's my, your dad. I said, that's not, I would know if that was my dad. It's not even spelled the same as my name. Do you ever go I have a couple of times, yeah. 
we have a comment in the chat room that Efren's going to try to confuse. He's going to change his tactics and try to confuse Brian. But By, um, I don't think he's going to need to. Well, he, he didn't get a very good roll on this shot, so he might need to do something here. No, yeah, you're right. Oh, he's going to cross over the six ball, run the cue ball up table. Oh. You love that well, that reverse spin that just took yeah, place yeah, right there? Yeah, he covered the six, so. And he spotted up both balls that he owed. Yep, so he's even, he needs nine now. And Brian needs five. Brian ought to think about a way to kick the, the six into the corner because... Alex is coaching right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Alex Loenko's. Why didn't you do this? No, he's, I think he's over there just telling him that just that much more you would have. He was this close to having a shot straight in on the two ball when he, when he did that. He says he'll be, if you want to play, he'll come here at around 12.30, but he wants to go to the airport at 5.00. No, he just wants the action to happen early. Tell him I'll play no, him at he, one if he wants. They go to the. They go. I'll play him at one. one. I'll play him at one. Okay. Okay. I'll tell him. Okay, come at one. You play it. You, okay, come at twelve thirty. You play at one. <laughs> this means I'm gonna have to hit a few balls tonight. Just because I need to be, I well, need to be warmed da up. Uh, Daniel, Geraldine, and I are in rare form, commentary-wise. So you know, anytime you want to walk away from the booth, maybe after this get, set, Twig we will have a little into, workout uh, with me. Way too much trouble, though, if you walk away. Look, tell Piano, I won't play him unless you're commentating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, he, he might, he might say no to that. You guys have you guys have ruined this match. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why I love we're you both that's for why it. we're laughing. I love you both for it. God. <laughs> I love how all Mark Barba wants to do is play me. Like, that's all he wants to do. Like, <laughs> Does he want to come back right now to play you? He's been woofing at me like solid for the last month. He's, been, he's listening to the commentary. Oh. Now he's in my Facebook chatting with me. It's not going to feel so good after I beat him. Bam. That's Bam. what she said. Oh, I missed that one. French is backing the Daniel Lee Brett rematch. This time it's for blood. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wouldn't give Lee Brett the action because I didn't like the action the first time, even though I lost bad. He says, okay. Uh, Carlos said, okay. Tomorrow. That's good. Yeah, I won't give Libra any more action. Just because I don't think he he doesn't he kind of yeah, Geraldine, it. you should come with Melinda and I are gonna go play the um the women's rum runner. It's a uh, oh it's yeah, a, it's before the, the dock the, after the, the dock week. Hill. No, it's the week after rum runner. It's after the Mercer. Yeah, it's usually like Easter weekend, right around that weekend. But Mel and I are gonna go down and play. We it it's a um slightly it's a game handicap. Amy Kane runs it. Hmm? I don't have the dates. I could get you the dates. It's basically the, it's basically the weekend right after the Andy Mercer. 25th, 26th, 27th. Yeah. Three days or two days? Two days. We usually go up on we take we usually go up on Friday, and they get done pretty early on Sunday. Oh, it's my dad's birthday too. 
on the 27th, so. But, yeah, Mel and I were talking about it the other night. We went last year. We enjoy going. We've gone um, the last probably two out of three years or, or two out of four years we've gone. I think I took this past year, I, I didn't do well. I did like seventh, eighth. Um, but previous to that, I took fourth one year, took, took uh, fifth, sixth one year. Efren needed one. No. Yeah. Efren, uh, Efren. Melissa it would be considered. So I go to six. Mel goes to like eight, eight, I think. Melissa would have to go to nine. And there's players in there. Like I'm, I'm. They're going to four. It's very difficult on the bar table to give up that kind of weight. Okay, rack number four. What do you say? Three on the break. Is that what he said? And now he's. <laughs> he's been watching Brian's break. That's he's, Brian's he, break. He, beat a, he played him. Uh, he played in Brian's break. <laughs> That's so funny. Now I'm gonna just call that Brian's break from now it on. It is. I, I've never seen anybody else hit it that consistently. So, finish the story about Lee, Daniel. Oh, uh, is that what someone's asking? Mm -hmm. Lee Brett. Uh, you know, he, I just feel like he he didn't have a lot of class when I played him. I ha I had set some stipulations and some rules, and uh, he had no respect for them at all. Like I told him, oh, to dress and all that. To right? dress as though playing for a snooker tournament, like uh, you know, like just dressed well. Like we were playing for professional, I tried to class it up, and right. he just shows up like jeans and a polo, saying, "My back's hurting." What do you mean you can't dress well because your back's hurting? So basically, I pl I played half the match, you know, sweating in this monkey suit, and I'm not saying that's like a bad way to play it. It's just that you know you I had just feel like he things. didn't respect it, and it, and the, those that that condition was set like months prior uh, apple pie I've always played one one ball to the rail in one pocket what are, Daniel what's your vote on the break uh, one ball usually well uh, Alex Loinka was asking about that too like is there an actual rule but I think it's one there, ball. there is a rule I just thought it was one ball he's he's asking if it's two I have one on my phone I can look it up hold on no no that's a break a regular break three balls and the cue ball yeah that's on like eight ball or nine ball Anyway, I just felt like he was there to try to rob me, and you know he did rob me. But I was playing in like a 200-degree uh, Calvin Klein suit. What's that? It's the official rules for. Oh, cool. Is things. that an app? Yeah. Uh, we had an argument, I think, over jump cues or something too. I can't remember. If you guys watch the match again. Uh, the dispute came up in the middle of the match. So, you know what? Like, Lee can say what he wants to say, but um, the Lee, Lee's always got something to say. <laughs> You're funny. The, uh, the rule from... Um, it's not going to go back for me, really. From the official billiard... OnePocket.org? I didn't go to .org, or but the it's the official rule Congress? book. Yeah. It states that uh, one ball. Hits okay, the rail. so one ball has to hit the rail after the break? So cause the cue ball to contact an object ball, and after contact, at least one object ball must contact a cushion. Meaning there was um, players that used to do the um, the kick break, and they were, they were trying to say that because it, the cue ball contacted 
that that was a legal break, but a ball has to contact after contact. A, I know what you a mean. ball has to contact the rail after contact. Yeah. Anyway, on that note, you know, like I I won't take action that I don't think is worthy. You know what I mean? Like it's it's true. Uh, Jeff says I'm better off taking giving af action to Efren. Of course, I'm better off. Um, I turned down that match uh -oh. recently with Abdul because he wouldn't let me choose the table. Well, you're playing at his room. For him not to let you pick the table, that's I don't think that's all that uh, kosher. Especially when he said, didn't he say starting out that you were going to get to pick the table? Uh, he, his camp said I could pick the table. Oh. Yeah, we got, uh, you know, I don't vape. I actually smoke right now, and I wish I could stop smoking, but I don't vape. But we, we're working with a good vapor company right now, Drip RX. Um, and, I, like, uh, I like Drip Prescription. Drip RX, right? Yeah, drip that's what it is. I know. That's I is. love that. They got the, they got the juice for what ails you. So check out DripRx.com. And actually, um, he's created, a, Drip RX have created a promo code in, exclusively for POV Pool. So if you, if you put the promo code POV Pool in DripRx.com, you'll receive uh, $2 off every item that you purchase at DripRx. Awesome deal. And very tasty uh, vapor juice. In fact, I have, I have all of his flavors. If anybody wants a sample, I'll let you guys know. I mean, you know, hit me up and I'll give you a sample. On a separate note. So Daniel reached 5,000 friends on Facebook. You're full? And we haven't converted it to a fan page because we've heard there's some, some, some cons to it. So we're kind of weighing the pros and cons. And in the meantime, since he's gone to 5,000 and he can no longer acquire any more friends, people are starting to now friend me. <laughs> oh, lucky you, Geraldine. I know. <laughs> Tomato Tom, the race is to three. I don't even know how on my phone to look and see how many friends I have, but I have a lot of friends. I just accept anybody that where it says we have a pool friend in common, or it says they, they play pool, or their picture has them playing pool. I just accept it. <laughs> I don't care. I've got people from, I, I, I might be like making friends with terrorists. I have no idea what's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brooke Thomason, by the way. Please, please hi. feel to friend her hi. on Facebook. Because Brooke will be I can't on Facebook. Accept you, but Brooke, Brooke will can. be. Brooke, 2,921 friends. Booyah. <laughs> yeah, I know 12. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know probably, I know probably about 1,500 of them, which is a lot. I mean, yeah. en enough to like say hi to or whatever. Brooke but used to, you know, with her father, they owned Hard Times Billiards here. So they were, they basically were just, um, they became familiar with pretty much the whole Southern California pool scene. Uh, by osmosis, you know. <laughs> they became familiar with me, I think it's the more. They became familiar with her, yeah. <laughs> no drinks on the table! That's, I, I, I still have a hard time not saying that. And uh, that, you're right, Corner Market Bob uh, makes me aware that we've hit a million views on Ustream. Hey, congratulations! Today. We need a cake. Yeah. Any reason for a cake? Right? Whipped cream frosting, yeah. please. <laughs> Pick it up at Costco. I'm a big fan of cream puffs for some reason. Oh my god, right? Shoot, what a nice shot on that eight ball by Brian. He's playing good against Efren, but we are slaughtering in, in commentary. That's what she See, every what time did you, you just say there? Hey! Hey, you missed! You got right? excited. <laughs> you got excited. Hey! <laughs> Every time you start to say, <laughs> every time you start to say how good Brian's playing, he just completely has a problem. Yeah, I just, I, I'm just like 
So I should just give the mic back to Geraldine. And no, you you should just say that he's struggling, but he's coming through okay, and he's he's you know he, he's fighting to stay in the game. This is great. I'm getting coaching tips now <laughs> from Brooke. Booyah! <laughs> Can this go on my commentary uh, playlist? <laughs> hey, how about we do like a little parody? Okay. Bro Brooke's p p p commentary oh my school. Gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Hi, I'm Brooke. Would you like to be a sports commentator like I am on POV? So cool? do I have to do that voice? <laughs> I so I became. I'm an established. I be, I can't. Well, I'm a, so I became president of the, the Long Beach Pool League. Yeah. Recently. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you, by thank the way. You. That's Yay. right. Um, but I was doing announcements at our first fundraiser. Okay. And. I sounded like the DJ from a strip club. Oh, really? That's yeah. funny. So I'm like, and we are doing our last round of drinks, ladies and gentlemen. So if you could see Geraldine in the center of the room, she'll take care of you for $2 a shot. Just go on up to Geraldine and tell her Brooke sent you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You want to know something funny? I actually went for a job interview as, as a DJ at a strip bar, and I met the DJ that was there, because I used to be an actual club DJ, DJ okay. right? So I thought, it'd be, like not the, quite the I thought same. it'd be like the same thing, right? But no, you're like a total wrangler, you know? Hey, everybody, everybody, you know, like, T Tisha is coming up next, and boy, she's got legs. Make sure you get those shots coming, because Tisha's got legs. You know, I mean, I'm just like, what? Uh, and and I just couldn't do it. I was like, I don't want this job. <laughs> I don't want this job at all. By the way, this is Tisha, Daniel. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, now I really don't want this job. <laughs> Sorry, Tisha. <laughs> I want to take a class. One of the guys was telling me that he, um, nice he has shot. a friend that does... Uh, coaches voiceover and broadcasting uh, commentary. You know who just, uh, what is his name? I'm, I'm going to start talking. I don't remember the guy's name. Um, who's the guy who came from Florida? Luke? No. <laughs> I knew she'd remember. No, no, that's not who I was saying. Oh my God. The guy who came from, the broadcasting guy. Oh, uh, Fred, uh, Freddie. Yes. Corner man. Freddie Agnier. Freddie Agnier came from Florida, now lives in San Diego. Carmen, uh, uh, no, Barbados. Carlsbad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Carlsbad. Legoland. <laughs> and he might be the one, if you want, like, some advice for a commentary, to talk to. Folks, don't go away. I'm going to actually ask Twig for a little workout. I'm going to play like a race to seven with Twig because I, I, I'm i playing Carlo tomorrow and I just realized I need to... And Geraldine is too. So do you guys want to hang out? Oh, um, I'm not sure. I, I have to make a decision in the next minute. Yes. Of whether I'm going to actually work tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to... We're gonna wrap this up. Uh -oh. Yeah, right. Alex can come ask me for action now. Uh, Efren, thanks a lot. We'll see you guys tomorrow with Efren Reyes. Hey guys, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I promise you that most of the matches have probably about as four percent as much banter as this this particular match. It's late night. It's We're late having night. a good time. This is this is what it's about. I do.